Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to track visitors analytics on your Wix website in 2023. Tracking website analytics is crucial for understanding your audience and improving your website's performance. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So now what we need to do of course is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. As an example, you can use Google Chrome, you can use Firefox, you can use Opera, you can use Brave like me, even an Internet Explorer if it's working for you. So whatever browser you have or you want to use, go ahead and use it. Once you do that, of course, you can simply go to your URL section and simply type wix.com and hit the enter button. That should take you directly to the home screen or the main screen of Wix website. And of course, here, if you have an account, you can simply click on the login option and that will take you to this page. Of course, here, you can simply enter your email and check this remember me option if you don't want to keep logging in into your account every time you get into the site or into the website. Of course, if you forgot your email, you can simply click here so you can get it back or remember it. Of course, make sure to read this term of use and privacy policy so you don't get in any future troubles. As you can see, you can read them very carefully because it's very important so you don't have any problems in the future with Wix company. Of course, this site is protected by reCAPTCHA Enterprise, Google Privacy and Terms of Use apply, so make sure to read them. And of course, you can even log in into your account with Google, Facebook, or even Apple, or with your SSO. If you don't have an account, make sure to click on the sign up option. And of course, from here, you can create your account by entering your email, then retype in your email, creating a password and type in your password again, then clicking on sign up. Of course, again, you can create your account with a Google account or even Facebook account. And by signing up, you're agreed to our term of use and the knowledge you've read our privacy policy. It's the same as I showed you before. So for me, let me just fill this information real quick right here. Let's see an example that's going to be my email. I'm just going to retype it. Like this, the password let's say it's going to be something like this and let's just re-enter it and here we are as i said you can or you don't have to fill all of those if you want you can simply click add continue with google if you have your google account already connected and choose the email or the gmail that you want to connect with for me i choose the same email that i choose here so now let me just save this. So next time I want to log in or something, I'll not have to fill those manually. And here I'll have to answer a quick survey. So let's set up with the right tools. First, who are you creating a website for? Of course, you can answer those questions or you can simply click on skip. So do whatever suits you for me. Let's say an example for me or my business or friend. So I'll click on continue. And here, what kind of websites are you creating? Let's say an example, online store. Click on next. Should not take a lot of time this survey and of course if you're getting bored as i said always click on skip enter your store name let's say an example it's going to be something like this click on next because this survey will even help you uh, understand them a lot and even they will will even help you and give you a recommendation based on your survey right here so let's say an example it's going to be blog i don't know maybe music video and click on next why not? So here, as you can see, we can simply now go to our dashboard. And as you can see, they are preparing my dashboard right now. So I'll have to wait a couple of seconds and I'm going to be right there. So as you can see, now we are at the dashboard of my Wix account. And here, of course, I would like to finish this step to set up my store as an example. I'll have to add a first my first products and then set up a payment method then of course set up shipping and delivery address then 
design my website, then connect to a custom domain, then get found by customers on Google. So the first thing this would like to do, of course, if we want to track visitors and outlook on your Wix website, is simply go and install an app for that. If you want to do that, go to this left panel and click on apps right here, which will take you to the app market of Wix websites right away. Here, of course, we will find a lot of apps. And of course, for you, if you want to track visitors analytics, of course, there are a lot of apps. So you can go and make a little research about that so you can figure out the best app for you. Of course, in this video, I'm giving you a good recommendation, a good app recommendation called visitor analytics. So just go to the search apps and type visitor analytics. And here we, here is it. You will find this right here. As you can see, this app is available worldwide, so you can use it wherever you are on the world. And the languages supported by the app is English, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, and Spanish. Of course, this app comes with a lot of features, including analysis, analyze website traffic sites, uh, visitors, conversations, session duration, page visits, referral referrals, click paths, devices, bounce rates, times of visits, composition analysis, and more. Understanding visitors' behavior in real time, session recording, heat maps, conversation finals, and events tracking. And of course, it even provides you with receive visitor feedback effortlessly and targetable surveys in pool. No cookies for tracking data and 100% GDPR and CCPR. A. Complete tracking and no data passed on the third parties. Of course, if you want to read all the features, you can simply click on this read more and read all of it. If you're not sure about this app, you can just go and read the reviews of other people and see the average rating of the app. Make sure it has a lot of reviews because some apps has like five star, but it has just five reviews as an example. So now simply you will have to click on add sites option right here and this will pop out into your screen so simply you will have to read your email this will read your email address manage embedded scripts and and read basic sites and business info so you'll have to agree and add if you want of course to track your visitors analytics and as you can see you can simply go to the editor right now if you want and manage it from the dashboard even so we can click on go to editor as an example or go to dashboard. So choose whatever suits you. Let's say as an example, I click on go to dashboard. And here, of course, this will not work unless you have a store or a page. First of all, connected with your Wix account. So normally you will find all the data now on this visitors analytics. For me, as you can see, I have nothing here because I still have, I don't have any websites because I just created my account as you see saw in the first of this video so that's going to be it for this video on how to track visitors analytics on your wix website in 2023 remember by using wix built and analytics tools you can gain valuable insights into your website's performance and make data-driven decisions to improve your website thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and i'll see you in the next one